What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here today coming in as the captain of this Lancashire team, or Lancashire, I think I pronounced it wrong, but uh, anyway, we are in, we are the captain, uh, and we are going to be looking to hopefully try and make some runs. We got off to a pretty decent start, but we will look to go and try and finish things off. Now today's question of the episode is, which international team, or even which domestic team, do you support in cricket? I want to hear your answers down below in the comments. I want to see who the most popular uh, cricket team is in, well, just amongst my fans, I guess. So that one there has been bloody lobbed away. Would you believe it? That almost, had they had the right players there, that would have been out court. And Cliffy would have been having a very early shower there. He would have been on his bike very early on. So um, we are going to have to try and bat through here with Liam Livingston uh, and get through uh, a bulk of overs, it must be said, to try and just get some kind of respectable total on the board. As I did say, we have been made captain of the side, so that is a huge honour um, to have that. And we'll be looking to go and try and bring the side home if we can. Um, Push them up into a playoff spot as well. I'm not too sure where we're sitting at the moment uh, in regards to the playoffs, but it will be interesting to find out when that does occur. So um, just trying to nudge it around at the moment. There isn't really any big boundary options that we can go for. Um, and then we go and do that. Cliffy, what are you thinking? I honestly just have massive brain fades in this game. And that was not needed at this stage. It does bring in Joss Butler, however, but... Man, oh man, we have just struggled big time to get any kind of decent total on the board. We are now coming in. We need to up those wickets, boys. Only 18 wickets in bloody 29 matches. That is appalling. We are going to have to try and fix that sooner rather than later. Because otherwise, we are just going to go down as one of those guys, more of a part-time bowler, which is not what we want. We want to be the guy that's picking up wickets, keeping runs to a minimum... And that just hasn't happened there. Burgess has gone first ball and said, you know what, Cliffy, thank you very much. I'm going to take you away for four runs. But we really just need to go try and get our batting sorted, try and get some bowling sorted as well. We just need some wickets, man. We honestly need some wickets. We need a huge flurry of them to come in quick, smart. Um, otherwise, man, oh, man, have we got... All right, I'm going to actually rock with this field. I reckon this field is better than the other one. Just with the players that we have. We've got cover out on that offside, on the sweeper. Uh, we've obviously got a man catching. And we do have men inside the ring on the offside to, you know, hopefully we get one that's ballooned or mistimed and goes straight to one of those guys. But I'm not counting my chickens. But as I said, we do just need something. We need something to go our way. We need a break. We need a bit of luck. Uh, and fingers crossed we can go and try and pick that up. There's an edge. How many times have we seen that in recent episodes? Not just in this 2020 uh, bash, but we've seen it in the uh, West Indies 2020 competition as well, where we have found the outside edge and it just has not carried to a fielder. So um, there's another prime example. There is another prime example. That is an expensive over. It's gone for nine. Found the edge a couple of times, a few risky shots, but we haven't got the wicket. We have not got the wicket, and that's what we want to do. We are now coming back. Uh, with, well, not a whole lot needed, to be fair. 28 off 30. So we've got a hard task uh, put ahead of us here as the captain. We did save ourselves till very later on in the piece. And I think I might have to change my field here as well. Go slightly more attacking. Um, just to try, try and grab something. I might actually keep this field here. Because um, I'm going to start trying bowling some in-swing. And hopefully we can pick up some wickets with that there. But um, as I said, again... Not counting my chickens, because things are just not happening for us at all. I don't know what it is. I honestly don't know what else we can do. I don't know how we can find edges. We can never seem to get um, LBWs or courts or bolds or court and bolds. Court and bold was like my bread and butter. It was my go-to in Don Bradman 14. We need some of that luck to come back if we could. Um... But I just don't know what else we can do to try and knock things over. A lot of people have said, obviously, uh, to try in-swing, which is what I've done. Um, it doesn't work. I did have a lot of success, obviously, with the cross-seamers. That isn't working for me. The cutters aren't working for me. To be fair, nothing is working for me. So I um, want to go and try and fix that if we can. 
sooner rather than later. I mean, it's not as though we're bowling bad, you know, we're being pretty economical. Um, we are just not picking up wickets. If we're playing backyard cricket, one hand, one bounce, that would have been clean gone. I wish we, I wish we were playing backyard cricket. Then we could go and actually potentially um, pick up some wickets. But um, even at this stage of the game, that really is not what we need. We're going to have an optimistic LBW shout. That is going far down league, and that's why the umpire says that that is not out. But, man, we need something. Um, hopefully we get another chance to have a bowl, which we do. There is just nine needed, um, so we're probably not going to get an over after this, but we do get this over to try and pick ourselves up something. And there we go! We finally get one! Oh, the wicket drought is over, boys. We have finally picked ourselves up a wicket. The in-swing has worked. We get Umar Akmal for 13. Was a little cheeky edge that did get there, but um, we have managed to go and get it in the end. So that is huge news. Huge news for the cliff. And huge news for this Lancashire team. Or La I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. Um, but that's good. Finally, we get something. A bit of luck goes our way. That's just what we need. Now we just need something like that there. That's not that great of a shot from O'Brien. Like, it's aerial. If there's a fielder there, it's getting taken. It's getting scrambled up and just absolutely gobbled down his throat. But, um, and there's another one. Oh, my God. See, it is bloody Edge City here. Edge City, but they just do not go to hand. If that one there had just gone, you know, a little bit closer to the keeper, we could have been in laughing. But not the case. How's that, umpire? If that has not hit the bat, that's gone. And we get another one. The mojo's back, boys. This is what I'm liking. Clint Mackay gone. Captain on captain. And all of a sudden, I wouldn't say that Lancashire are in this game. But 7 off 13, if we can pick up another wicket here... Uh, which we haven't. It is a dot ball. Fingers crossed that our bowler can go and keep it to below seven. Uh, I'm going to have to go... Wow, we really don't have too many bowling options, to be fair. Um, we really do not. But hopefully we can have another chance to have a bowl. We haven't. Leicester Shire have won by three wickets. We do get on the bowling chart, though. Two for 16, the best bowler. And our batting, eh, we won't talk about that. We won't get into that. But a three-wicket win um, by the Foxes with nine balls left to go. And because this is a slightly shorter episode, we will go and have a look at the league table and just see how things really are panning out um, at the moment in this English T20 Blast, T20 Slam, NatWest T20 Blast, whatever you want to call it. So once we get past all these loading screens... Um, and see all of our objectives. We won't upgrade our skills and stuff like that. I, I prefer to go and just keep it down um, and just build them up over time. So I've got like 3,100 in there at the moment. So, um, But as we can see, so we are playing in the... When I can find it. There we go. England T20 Slam. Um, so we're in pool... So at the moment we're fourth. So we're not doing terribly. Um, but it is pretty close at the moment. There are still a lot of games left to go. Like I think we play each team twice... Um, and there is a buy in there as well. So there's still plenty of rounds left to go. Plenty of time, I'm guessing, probably to make... Um, I don't know how the knockouts and stuff work, but I'm guessing probably maybe top four from each and play through in the quarterfinals. If you guys know, let me know down below in the comments. But I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Until tomorrow, ka kite anoa. See you then.